Hola, ¿cómo estás? Yo soy James de Proyecto Sherlingo, and I do speak Spanish fluently, but I didn't always. Um, and in the last couple of years, I've started helping people find out what it was for me that changed it from impossible to speak Spanish. I mean, I failed at everything um, to change that to being easy to speak Spanish. And so we've developed here at Sherlingo something called the Spanish Success Path. And it's basically five simple steps to get you from where you are today, wanting to speak Spanish, to talking with real people, all right? So let's jump in with this. I'm gonna describe the Spanish Success Path for you, all right? Let's begin with whether it's books like this, the new Shorter Spanish Review Grammar, or whether it's your phone, apps on your phone or whatever, nobody, nobody has ever said to me, I want to study Spanish. People don't say that. People want to do that. I want to study Spanish, said no one ever, All right? What is it that you want? You want to speak Spanish, but what is it that you really want? You want to talk to people. You want to connect with people. Talk to human beings, not apps and computers. So, first thing, let's agree that you want to talk to people, not study books or apps or use computer programs, all right? If we agree on that, that's what you want, some objective, whether it's for travel or to be a better nurse or school teacher or, or for whatever reason, you want to talk to human beings. All right. There's five simple ways to get to that stage. And I'm going to go backwards so that each one makes sense. All right. Step number five is how to meet Spanish speakers that want to practice with you. One of the things you're going to need is to practice with Spanish speakers. Well, where and how can you meet them? So you want to understand where and how to meet them, all right? Before you do that, before you understand where and how to meet Spanish speakers, it'd be great if you knew how to practice with those Spanish speakers. So that's step number four, learning how to make the most out of the time you have together so that you don't get in front of your new Spanish speaking friend and it's like, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Okay. Well, before you learn the method, it might be nice to learn how people learn a language. Simple ideas like don't do too much at once. Did you know if you try and learn 300 words at one time, you'll probably remember zero. But if you learn one phrase, really well, like what time is the next train or let me check your blood pressure, whatever the phrase is for you. If you learn that really well, then you make progress. It's better to learn one thing at a time than 300 things at once. That's how people learn anything, but especially a language. Well, before you get into this step, you might want to understand the two parts of learning a language. So step number two is understanding that it takes foundation and practice. And this is where so many people get stuck. They get totally buried, log jammed, big black hole that they never get out of. People start using the apps on their phones and they're doing foundation. Foundation is like your vocabulary and grammar and they get stuck in the vocabulary and grammar and they never break free. Don't do that. You have to understand how to get out of the app and into practicing with human beings, right? Understanding that leads to this, all right? And before you even start doing any vocabulary and grammar, you want to understand what it is specifically that you want to learn. So the very first step of your Spanish success path is not bounce into your phone and start studying vocabulary. Before you start studying vocabulary, you want to identify your unique why, your motivation. Why? Okay? Like, 
If my motivation is to travel to Central America, then I want to learn things like when is the next train, when is the next flight, how do I catch a taxi, um, how do I get back to my hotel, how much is the hotel, does the hotel have any extra rooms available. That's travel, okay? Whereas a, a, a school teacher might want to learn how to say, raise your hand, please sit down, um, Johnny is doing well in his classes. A school teacher has very different vocabulary that they want to focus on in the beginning than somebody who wants to travel. And it's the same with any job or any objective. Um, if you want to find the new love of your life, right, you're probably going to want to learn some different vocabulary than a school teacher. Okay, so with these five steps, let's go now from the beginning. The first thing, you define why you want to learn the language. That's going to tell you what vocabulary to focus on, right? And then, rather than only doing vocabulary, you want to use that vocabulary to practice with real people. But to do that, you need real people, right? So we're going to understand what we want to do and when, right? This is like to learn a new language. Okay, we've got the vocabulary. How much are we going to do at once? All right? Then we're going to find out, once we get together with our partner, how we're going to make the best out of the practice time. Then we're going to find out where and how can we meet Spanish speakers, and it's really much easier than you think. It's super, super easy to find Spanish speakers who are desperate to practice with you. All right? And the next thing you know, boom, you are talking to human beings. And that, by practicing with the human beings, is what's going to give you the confidence to speak Spanish. And you'll get out of the books and the apps and the computers. Okay? I'm James. Yo soy James, otra vez, fundador del Proyecto Shellingo, y nos vemos pronto. Ciao.